Okay, I'm back, and here's the fresh melon tea pasta just made, which will go with a bunch of this into the freezer. So what I can do is I can freeze a whole bunch in little in little batches. So when I want to come home, is what I do is I take the frozen noodles, I get a pot, put the frozen noodles in it, and what you want to do is you want to gradually bring the water to temp. So put it to medium, medium low. And when the water gets warm, and you, know, you don't feel the you don't feel the ice, you know all the ice is melted, and the noodles are well, <laughs> the noodles are melted. Um, then when it's warm, drain it off, and your noodles will be ready. So we're gonna put that over there for now, and don't forget to add some olive oil to mix in to mix into your. Um, noodles so that keeps them from sticking together they'll stick a little bit but that's that's normal okay let's chop the rest of this chop 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 that's the fun part and again, if you want to, okay, if this is too, if this is just like, oh my god, this is too much work, here is the other way. Chop, 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 chop. Just chop it until you feel that's the size of the, of the, uh, size of the, um, bite size you want. Now, if you want to leave them whole, that'd be, that'd be interesting. So see how these are more coarsely chopped here? Let me turn that down. These are more coarsely chopped. This is more like little squares. So again, it's all up to you. There's no rules or regulations to how you chop these. And again, if you see something you want to add to this and it looks really yummy, go for it. And if you want to leave something out like, oh my gosh, she's putting bell peppers in it. What the heck is she thinking? That's disgusting. Or you don't like olives or you don't like the white onion. Or whatever it's like it's it's your creation it's like all recipes are your own creation I'm just here to show you how to put it together and that's the fun part about cooking it's experimenting it's taking nothing and making it into something And this, again, is it's a great meal for if you're a college student and you want to, you don't want to eat college, the college food, and um, you want to take something out there and it's going to be filling. Of course, you need something, you know, you need something to carry it in, but um, I'll leave that up to you. Let's see, I need another bowl. Actually, I need a bigger bowl after this to mix it all in. Okay, let's stick that in there. Let's get working on the onion. Now, white onions are good for salads. So, I'll cut the top off. Cut the bottom off. And again, if you have any, uh, if you have, if you're like, okay, well, I used half of the onion. What am I going to do with the other half of the onion? Well, let's use this size, a little bit bigger. Um, well, what you can do with the onion, because a lot of people go, well, I used a half an onion for this meal, but I have no idea what to use the other half of the uh, onion for. Well, if you watch any of my soup rest, uh, my soup videos on ch uh, homemade chicken noodle soup or pork soup, any kind of, any kind of uh, little things, like let's say this and this, that can go into a soup. As, as it, a soup again I, I'm on my soup rant right now but uh soup oh yeah I want to say this one soup is one of these things where it's a catch-all it gets all the rest of the vegetables you, you don't use in the refrigerator and it utilizes them into another meal okay so cut that in half now we're gonna do okay this is the this is the part where you want to cut down but you're not cutting all the way down and if some pieces slide out don't panic just that's the way it is if it falls apart like it is right with me because I'm videotaping this now and 
It knows I'm videotaping it, so this is why it's doing it. But no big deal. It doesn't go perfect all the time, but if it does go perfect, you have an onion that's completely together. Now, we're going to mince this. And hopefully I won't start crying. This shouldn't have the heat. Some of the... Some of the um, watch the fingers. I got one episode on here. I can't remember which... Well, it's an episode where I'm cutting jalapenos. And I squirt myself in the eye with a jalapeno juice. It becomes very interesting because I don't have the backup. So... I, I, that was a one take and I didn't want to redo it because that's all I had. So I just kept on trucking through and this is a little bit hot. And I can feel it, but nothing compared to jalapeno. I'm a trooper. I've been shot in the eye with jalapeno. I can deal with it. I can deal with onions. Onions are nothing. Maybe. Okay, but with this you want to chop it as much as possible. Okay, the key to chopping is square it. And then chop. And you can see my base right here is really sturdy. Square it. Chop. Square it. No, this is not math class. Don't worry. Because I'm saying square. Onion to the power of two is chop. But they didn't teach you that in math class. Okay, chop. What is the cubicle? What is the cubicle volume of chopped, chopped onions? But that has an answer. And chop this is as fine as you want. I like mine really fine. Because you want it to mix in. You don't want to get the heat of the onion. You want it to mix into the, the pasta. Okay, there we go. And then, now what we're going to do, we're going to take the tuna can. Let me turn this up. And take the tuna can. You want to get a hammer. And you want to get a, a screwdriver. And I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. No, we're not going to use a hammer and we're not going to use a screwdriver. We're going to use a regular can opener. Okay, that was just a test to see if you were paying attention. Okay, get your handy dandy can opener. Open it up. And hopefully I can make this before my video runs out. Okay, and my husband doesn't like the juice. I, I use tuna with water. So. And we're gonna get a, 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 well, let's see, where is it? We're gonna get something. I'm on a mission to find it. Okay, I just washed it. Well, let's use the super duper big one. Okay, if you have one of these, great. You wanna tilt the lid and drain the juices, go for it. So we're gonna dump that out. And I'm going to push down on it with a spatula. Get all the juices out. I'm going to leave it right here in the corner for a minute because I need a, I need a bowl. I need a bowl. I need a glass bowl. Where's my glass bowl? It is. Let's use my. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is the fun part now. We're going to take some of our coal melon seed. So let's get about, that's a one ladle, oh, let's see, a ladle is about a half a cup. So that would be one cup, two cups. And again, it's up to you how much you want to add. So let's, let's just add the whole thing. So that's actually, this was a uh, little less than two bags. Okay, that solves that problem. 
Okay, now for the first chunk. Chunk, that's your tuna. Chunk, that's your bell pepper. See, that's, that's the, the, mixing, the mixing sound. And then you check the olives and the, and the um, celery. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chunk the onion. See, Emerald has, bam! I don't know what Rachel Ray has. She has teeth. Um, and then Paula Dean has a uh, <laughs> lawsuit. Well, I have chunk, I guess. That's my that's my key word here. Because it's just, you chunk it in. Okay, so, want to mix that up? And if you want to add two cans of tuna, you can. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no, um, Law says you have to use one. The law of tuna says you only can use one can of tuna. That would be horrible. But no, if you want to use two cans of tuna, if you want to use albacore, you can. If you want to use uh, mackerel, you can. So tuna, mackerel, salmon. If you want to, if you want to use fresh tuna, you can. That would be delicious. Um, which I don't have fresh tuna. If you want to use fresh salmon, you can. It's like it's all up to what fishiness you want to use. Okay, so here we got our basic salad. Now, here's the here's the part where you want to uh, you want to make sure you have the right ingredients in the refrigerator before you start cooking. Okay, here we go. I found it. Um, off camera mumbling. Let's see. What am I looking for? I'm looking for mayonnaise, but I'm going to use something else. Okay, so get your mayonnaise out, and if you want to use, I use Best Foods. If you want to use um, organic mayonnaise, go for it. If you want to use uh, handmade mayonnaise, go for it. This is all, again, what you want. Um, I would recommend about two tables, good two good tablespoons mixed into this. And let's make sure I don't go over, over, because I don't want to make this into a third video. And I grab a spoon that's too big for the mouth of the, of the um, let's make some noise in the background. And, okay, I'm doing okay. So, one, two, okay, and mix that in. If you want to use less, you can. Now, Here's something that most people would go ew at, but if you want, I'm not going to do it on the video because I don't want to, because people are like, ooh, good, what the heck is she doing? Mayonnaise with a little bit of honey whipped into it is really good. If you want to try that on the side and test it out, you can, but I really like it. Now, if the um, mayonnaise is too, if it's still too dry, add a little bit more. And you gotta realize too, the next morning, what do what does pasta do? It absorbs things. Okay, well I'm gonna cut it short here because I can see my timer. So this is a really easy salad. It's it's basically you're not doing anything except cooking the pasta. So I hope you like my video. And toodles!